Don't mind him, he's just here to watch. Ahoy hoy folks and welcome to today's video. So doing a bit of a review today, if you follow me on social media you'll know that recently I won a little giveaway for some Shimmer Drops watercolours. So that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. And um, don't forget also, we've got the intern up here who, if if you didn't see the, the video where we created him, uh, go and check, I'll, I'll leave a link up there so you can go and check that out. But he is still looking for a name. So I've got quite a few suggestions already, but we'll be going through the choosing process very soon and uh, yeah, then you'll be seeing a lot more of him. But today is watercolours, and I'm very excited for this because these paints look fantastic, and I really, really want to get to grips with them and find out what I can do. By the way, if you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new, obviously, welcome back. But I thought before we do the classic overhead shot, we don't just have a little look at what is in this package. So I shared this a little bit on social media, but I thought we'd dive in, have a proper look at what is here before we start swatching. So uh, Connie at uh, uh, Shimmer Drops Paint sent this little card with it as well. It just says, hi Sean, congratulations. I hope you love them with a little heart and Connie. And I love, I have to say, I love the branding for Shimmer Drops Paint. The logo is nice and simple. The, it's on their wrapping tissue paper as well. It is just all superb. I'm very, very impressed and I'm taking notes as well because um, yeah, I want to aspire to this level of packaging with my products. Um, so this is a sample pack. Basically, when watercolors are made, when they go, before they go into pans, uh, a lot of colorists and paint makers will make little swatch cards like this little sample card so you can get an idea of what the paints are like and, and you can usually pick these up pretty cheap as well to get an idea of the quality of the paint so this is the mythical color shift collection uh, and they're sample dots so i I'm very excited about this because it is mythical and it's colour shift. So they're kind of metallic two-tone colour paints. And you can see there the shift on them. You'll be able to see it better when I turn the camera around and we're, we're viewing from above and doing those swatches. But we have on here, we've got, some, we've got some Greek gods and we've got some creatures as well. So we've got Eros, which is this purple that looks like it has a purple and blue we've got center which is this bronze and green fairy which is a kind of pinky green we've got athena griffin dragon is gorgeous phoenix medusa is very nice as well poseidon siren and unicorn so to really see these paints shine we need to get them on paper so i've got a little swatch card here good to note that Metallic colours and shimmer colours work equally as well on black and white paper, but I'm going to be doing this on white today, but over the top of a painting, I think. But we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves there. Uh, we first need to swatch all of these out properly. So I'm going to get myself set up. I've got a paintbrush here. Oh, I need to go and get some water. Very important supply when you're doing watercolour painting is to actually have some water with you. And uh, we can open this up and then do a little bit of swatching and get a proper idea of what these colors look like. Right, okay, here we are. I have water, I have a brush, I have paper, and most importantly, I have the paint sample. So let's open this up and, um, oh, so exciting. I'll tell you what, nothing brings me more joy than opening <laughs> new art supplies. It's just, it's something I really, really love. So um, I'm gonna swatch these in the same way that they appear on this card. So just, just along here, I'm just gonna get a little bit of water. Just activate this. Ooh, ooh, can already see. Okay. These, this is so pretty. 
Not sure if you can see that shimmer on there, but look at that. It's kind of got this gray tone head on and then whew, purple, purple, gray, purple. That is the beauty of shimmer paints, wow. Okay, that's just the first one and I'm already liking it. Very important to clean your brush between swatches. Let's carry on. So just a few minutes later, and honestly, this has been a very short time, but these are already dry. And I know what you're thinking. Look at these. They look like pretty dull, kind of very toned colours. But actually, if I just look at that, that is the magic of these colours. Dull, bright, dull, bright. And the colour shift is just, it's like a magic trick. It's like someone's playing with the contrast on the television. That is just... Gorgeous. Now, I, for a very long time, I've had in my head to do a uh, to do a whole series of paintings of beetles and bugs because they have this amazing shimmer to them. But I'm going to leave that for another time. Since this is the mythical color shift collection, I thought we would do a mythical character. Now, I'm not going to paint the whole thing in these colours. Uh, I don't really think that's what these colours are best utilised for. I think what they're going to be great for is adding on top of a painting. So, I've got an artboard over here. I am going to sketch out a design. Then I'm going to paint it with just some other standard watercolours that I've got. Then we're going to use these to really bring the piece to life. So um, I suppose I should get sketching. But before we do that, did you know I have a goal this year to get to 10,000 subscribers on the channel? And it's so easy for you to get involved and to help and to join the Frogface family. All you have to do, you see, just down there, right, right down there, there's a subscribe button. Just click it, that's all. You know what, if you want to go the extra mile and really show people that you enjoyed the video, click the like button as well and maybe they'll join us. You know, you help me, I help you, I do giveaways and tutorials, all you have to do is like and subscribe, it's a win-win situation. Anyway, that's given you enough time to click the button, so let's get back to the video. Welcome to the time lapse, we are going weird and wild with today's piece of artwork so i said i wanted to do a creature and this one is based on one of my favorite movies actually i'm a huge fan of guillermo del toro so i'm going to do pan from pan's labyrinth and i'm just starting out with a standard sketch i've really liked the style recently and it's something i've been working on in my own time of just drawing in pencil getting a really good likeness a really good sketch down and then just watercoloring over the top of it it seems to work really really well and the black wing pencil also works really well with them so that's what i'm doing here just establishing my first sketch refining it and then painting over the top so as i said i'm not using any special paints uh, i think i've got graphite tints this is something that came in a scrawler box a while ago and uh, and i've also got some vivas and i'm just going to build up base tones and then work from there so something i'm learning with with watercolors is to start light and get darker and darker and this is no exception you'll see as i go through I, I build more shadow and more tone as we go through so that's what i'm going to do with this and then we will add the shimmer on top which i'm very excited for i've put this 
nice twinkly classical style piano music in the background just because it kind of reminds me of Pan's Labyrinth so uh, I'm going for a vibe here so enjoy the music sit back relax I will uh, join you at the end with my final thoughts on this paint as always leave a comment down below tell me what you think of the painting and I will catch you at the very end
Okay, well I think I'm just about done here and I've definitely got some observations but I just want to show you this. Look at the way that just shimmers. Look at that catching the light. I found actually that uh, in some areas if you re-wet it you can get a really nice overlay that just gives like a subtle shimmer all the way over which is really nice for the skin texture. These these paints are just, it's so hard to show <laughs> under studio lights but they they just catch the light beautifully and depending on which way you shine them you do get different tones and values and colours in them as well. I'm I'm really impressed with these, I really like them I and mean, you can see I've used hardly any of them, they've certainly gone a very long way. I want to experiment more with these, like I said I've got that, that beetle bug thing that I want to do so I think I might do some of those and uh, if you're interested in seeing those I'll definitely share them with my Patreons uh, but I'll also share them on Instagram in due course as well but I just can't stop moving this from side to side and letting it letting it shimmer I mean let me see if I can change the lighting and get this to shimmer a bit better there we go I think that's that's maybe a bit better you can certainly see it on the horns there and in the face, I've got my, my light just over here. Uh, but yeah, it's just, there we go, that works nicely. But for my first real foray into colour shifting watercolours, I'm actually quite pleased with this. It honestly, it's so hard to show, but it looks so much nicer in person. I'd love to know your ghost thoughts on paints like this. Feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, goodbye.